Here's the backstory. I've been baking so much lately and I've gathered a few tried and true recipes that always give me delicious results. I'm getting kind of annoyed with looking in tons of different places for some of them or remembering the substitutions I made. So my solution was to make a single recipe book to gather all my recipes in the same place and write down any changes I've made. Here's how I did it. I used thick cardstock, but any paper works. I also used pens, a book ring, a hole punch, and of course, a recipe that I was going to copy. You could probably type up your recipes and make the whole process a lot faster, but I kind of like the look of a handwritten one. The cardstock I used was also a little too thick for my printer to handle. To make the cards, I cut up a letter-sized sheet of cardstock into two parts that are each 5.5 by 8.5 inches. They're pretty big, but I wanted to give myself room to fit the whole recipe on the page. I listed the ingredients, then drew a line before writing out the instructions. I had extra space next to the ingredients list that I wanted to fill, so I took a photo of the finished baked good from my phone, printed it onto printer paper, and taped that onto the card too. I finished off the recipe card by making some star stickers using the same mild liner I wrote the title with, and a star hole punch. I think the card turned out so cute. It's simple enough to not feel overwhelming, but isn't boring to look at. I repeated this whole process with some other recipes so that I could have a little booklet at the end. Every recipe is different, and I like how each card is slightly different too because it makes the booklet more unique and personal.
Halfway through the project, I came up with the idea of laminating the recipe cards to make them sturdier and resistant to my messes while baking. If you notice the first recipe I was copying off of, there was a large ink bleed in the middle from when I spilled some water on the paper, and after spending time and effort making these new recipe cards, I wanted to prevent them from also getting ruined by stray water drops or flour. I happen to have an old laminator in my home, but you could also use clear packaging tape to waterproof your recipe cards. The final step is to punch a hole in the upper left corner of each card and assemble them onto the book ring. This is a pretty simple project, but I love how cute it turned out. To add more recipes, just undo the book ring and slide it in place. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you decide to make your own recipe book. I'd love to see it. See you in my next video.